Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. IAF issues RFI for medium transport aircraft that is MTA. Indian Air Force has issued a request for information for a medium transport aircraft program and has asked vendors who are interested to provide rough order of magnitude cost of aircraft and associated equipment etc for 40, 60 and 80 aircraft that the IAF intends to procure. RFI states that MTA would be used for various roles of transport aircraft between 18 to 30 tons of cargo carrying capacity. Selected transport aircraft will be made in India and delivery will commence from the 36th month of the contract being awarded between MOD and the winning bid. Next, MBDA offers Exocet AM39 ASH for Rafael M and TEDBF naval fighters. European multinational developers and manufacturer of missile MBDA will be offering its Exocet MA AM39 and airborne version of the Exocet anti-ship missile to Indian Navy to be equipped on 26 Rafale M fighter jets to be equipped on the Indian aircraft carrier. Exocet AM39 is a 670 kg, very low altitude over the sea, sea skimming, anti-ship missile with a range of 70 km with fire and forget capabilities. Exocet AM39 also has been offered by MBDA to be equipped on India's TEDBF 4.5 Gen deck based fighter jet that is under development and also for the LCA Navy. Next, COPE India 2023 US and Indian Air Force to battle it out this summer. The US Air Force and Indian Air Forces are to take part in COPE India 2. 023, which is to begin in April this year in India as a long-running bilateral uh, field training mission conducted by the U.S. Pacific Air Force to improve U.S.-Indian cooperation. The operation is like to occur in two Indian Air Force bases in Bengal, Kalakunda and Panagad. The airmen will train in a range of missions including subject matter expert exchanges, air mobili mobility training, air drop training and large force exercises. Next, MBDA offers India its Acheron MP, A-K-E-R-O-N MP, anti-tank, anti-infrastructure and anti-personal -person system. MBDA plans to offer India its Acheron, a unique fifth generation tactical combat missile which is which the company claims are a quantum leap from the third and the fourth generation weapons currently available on the market. Acheron is a lightweight medium range munition designed for open field operation or urban warfare with optimal fire and forget and man on, man on the loop modes with day and night capability with high resolution dual mode uncooled IR TV seeker. Acheron family of missiles incorporates the latest technologies in terms of high resolution multi-based, multi-band imagers, multi-effect warheads, anti-tank, anti-infrastructure, anti-personal data links and multi-made guidance along uh, algorithms based on AI techniques all ensure robust and precise guidance at any distance in all conditions. Next, Crown Group Defense Aerospace Division fully equipped to provide full MRO and avionic support to existing fleet of Indian fighter jets. The Crown Group with over 40 years of expertise in maintenance, repair and overhaul activities with their recent major international OEM tie-ups is fully equipped and all set to provide full MRO 
and avionic support to existing fleet of Indian fighter jets such as MiG 29K of the Indian Navy and MiG 29 Jaguar Mirage 2000 and Sukhoi 30 of the Indian Air Force. Crown Group Defense India is leading defense MRO major supporting the Atma Nirbhar Bharat initiative has set up two state of the art facilities managed by a core team of trained professionals both from the military and industry catering to defense aerospace MRO and avionics repairs including an NABL accredited calibration laboratory in Goa along with six world class facilities and workshops Pan India for taking on specialized MRO and manufacturing activities based on customer requirements. Next, NASA ISRO satellite gets auspicious send off before moving to India. NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar or NISAR, an earth science satellite being jointly built by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the Indian Space Research Organization got a send-off ceremony in California before it ships out to its last stop, India. ISRO Chairman S. Somnath, JPL Director uh, Laurie Leshin, the dignitaries from NASA headquarters including Bhavya Lal, NASA's Associate and Administration, Administrator for Technology, Policy and Strategy were present at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, for the send off. Next, TEDBF transition from 4.5 to 5th generation fighter is likely in the second phase. In 2019, it was decided in a meeting with the Aeronautics Development Agency and the Indian Navy that plans to convert the IAS 5th generator MCA fighter program into a deck based 5th generation fighter jet should not be pursued. Instead, a 4.5 generation twin engine deck based fighter TEDBF will be developed beginning in 2026-27 to replace the Russian MiG-29K fleet. ADA has two proposed designs ready. One uses the baseline Tejas MK2 design and incorporate a second engine to create a near 25 ton aircraft that can be operated from an aircraft carrier. Next, next, Azad Engineering is first in India to supply critical rotating parts for nuclear turbine. Azad Engineering Private Limited, a market leader in precision engineering, is approved as the first Indian company to supply critical rotating parts for nuclear turbines. The first set of critical parts have been delivered and will be assembled on nuclear turbines manufactured in Belfort, France, Hyderabad based company said in a release here, Azad have signed a long term supply agreement with GE Stream Power for supply of nuclear turbines parts with opens, which opens up a big opportunity for the company and is a second proud moment for the country as well. Next, General Atomics initiates three projects in India in AI. Drones, Semiconductors. General Atomic, a major American energy and defense corporation, has started three significant projects in India in the field of artificial in intelligence, drones and semiconductors. A company official has said a day after the launch of a landmark India-US initiative on critical and emerging technologies with Bharat Forge, General Atomics Aeronautics System GAASI has entered into a partnership in the critical field of aero structure manufacturing and with 11, 114 AI and Indian artificial intelligence company to develop the next generation of technologies in artificial intelligence according to Vivek Lal, chief executive of the General Atomics Global Corporation. Next, the first Turkish Harjet light combat aircraft has begun ground testing. Turkish Aerospace Industries' first Harjet light combat aircraft developed and produced in Turkey has begun ground testing. The first engine run-up test of the new advanced jet trainer and light attack aircraft was completed. Harjet is a single-engine 
टेंडम सीट सुपरसोनिक एडवांस ट्रेनर एंड लाइट कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट डिजाइन टू रिप्लेस द नॉर्थ रोप टी थर्टी एट टेलॉन एज ए ट्रेनर एंड टू सप्लीमेंट द जनरल डायनेमिक्स एफ सिक्सटीन फाइटिंग फाल्कन फॉर क्लोज एयर सपोर्ट थैंक यू